Our boat came with a collapsible wooden tender. Stored in a locker, we were assured getting it out, using it, then stowing it away after was a piece of cake. This is our attempt, while moored at our berth, to see if that's true. I start by clearing all the junk out of the locker, the spinnaker, some other bits and pieces that are stored in there, so that we can get at the dinghy that's stored up to the right of the locker. Firstly, we need to get it out of the locker. So we struggle around with this. We've been assured by the previous owner it was a piece of cake. It's far from a piece of cake. It took us an age just to get it in a position where we could pull it out of the locker. To manoeuvre, I'm going in. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what you meant to do. Finally, I managed to free it from the locker's grasp, and we can try and extract it. Now we need to get it up on deck. At this point we discover not only is it an awkward shape, it's heavy, very heavy. Okay. And off the boat. Bear in mind, we wouldn't be able to do this while at sea, so we're kind of cheating. On the pontoon, we untie the string, which probably hadn't been untied in the last decade or more, uh, and attempt to assemble the dinghy. It creaked and groaned as we opened it up. It dived off the side of the pontoon into the water, and I had to go chase it. It was quite difficult to assemble as we've never done anything like this before. It looked like a boat but all the pieces were too big to fit. Yeah. Stan said he used to do this on his own. Like, <laughs> absolute bullshit. I do not do or maybe he did it once. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's he used not... to do it on his own when he was sort of 22. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I went looking for oars, discovered we didn't have any, so we'll have to go to the shops. 
Finally, we discovered that putting in the folding seat pushed the sides out and made the dinghy the correct shape for the other pieces to fit. All together. Oh, that is the painter. Chuck her in the water. You know what the next test is, yeah. <laughs> Got the Rolex on it. Yeah, yeah, they're there. Right. Okay. Hang on to the painter, I'll push the stern over. Since we don't have any oars, we'll have to go to Port Sun and get some. Do you want to? No oars, so we went off to the Marine Superstore in Port Solent to buy some. It's a big shop with loads of stuff in, a bit of an Aladdin's cave, really. As a dinghy, it was pretty good, just heavy and difficult to move about. Rob regularly uses a kayak, so he is used to small watercraft. I, however, am not. Now we test the theory of using the boom and block and tackle to hoist the dinghy back into the boat. Swing the boom out over the side of the boat, hopefully, to hoist the dinghy. Yeah. I hauled away, but couldn't raise the dinghy high enough. We tried to shorten the line attached to the block, but it didn't help much. In hindsight, the one thing we didn't try was using the topping lift to raise the boom up 
This might have allowed us to get the dinghy over the guardrail. We concluded a rubber dinghy might be easier, but I don't know, we may give it another go.